lab, uh, gas lab number two, Gala Sex. Uh, here's the setup. Uh, again, we're going to use vernier, uh, vernier probes. Uh, the way I have set up here is I have a, uh, an Erlmeyer flask with air in it, and it's stopped off. And uh, the uh, it's it's in a in a water bath. It's in water, a thousand mil beaker water. It's not you know it's not a thousand mils of water, but it has water in it. And the uh, we also have a thermometer attached into the water. And it's on a hot plate. In the hot plate, we can adjust the uh, temperature using the, t the respective dials. And that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, trap the air inside the Erlmeyer flask <clears throat> and then um, increase the pressure, increase the temperature and see what happens to pressure. And the way that, again, what, what we're going to do is we're going to record that over on uh, using our vernier probe onto the computer. And uh, so I have it set up here. So you have uh, temperature and pressure. Okay, and uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to collect the first data point, and then um, which is says 23.3 and then 98.71 kilopascals. I'm just going to hit the button for that um, and turn on uh, the uh, the heat and start recording and every five maybe every five to ten degrees I'm going to uh, record the uh, temperature and pressure and to get our data and then talk about uh, what it is. Uh, now there might be uh, some um, in your lab book it talks about the, the setup and the procedure. Um, so uh, you can look at it. There may be some questions on the quiz on uh, the setup as well. So make sure you pay attention to that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my first data. So I'm going to hit collect. And I'm going to hit keep. And what that does is it gives me data, one, data point number one. Okay, so, uh, so I'm going to start the temperature. And I'm going to turn it up to about 7 and this turn the stir bar on, the R stir bar. So it spins fairly good. So that distributes the heat in the, uh, I want to turn off, don't want any air to escape, so I'm going to close off the, uh, the valve. I've got to make sure the tube doesn't touch the uh, hot plate. And uh, we'll just let it go. Let's see, and like I said, so I think the next me point I'll measure it will be about uh, 30 degrees uh, Celsius. So this is going to take a few minutes um, as we go through it. Uh, my guess is you're probably going to um, skip through, you know, the video. I would, but I'm going to I'm going to do it um, as the uh, in real time. But uh, there may be some things I say. Uh, as we go along here that you may want, that may be on the quiz, like, uh, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Okay, this is 2021. Uh, if I use this again in the future, uh, you will already know who won, like, uh, back to the future. But, um, I don't know. I don't know who I'm rooting for. Okay, uh, so, and, uh, all right, and who did the uh, the Lions uh, trade uh, Matthew Stafford to? Okay, I'm a Lions fan, believe it or not, um, from Detroit. So, uh, so that may keep you intrigued why I'm changing the temperature here. I doubt it, but you may get that on a uh, quiz here. So I'm just letting it go up, and typically in a lab you would do it, and you just make sure, you know, part of science is waiting, okay? Uh, one of the problems with the virtual labs sometimes is that you can get the answer real just by clicking and, and uh, click, 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 and you get the answer. But in real real science, you have to sit and, and wait wait for things to get done. And I've done labs where they've lasted days, and I've had to sit and watch uh, data for hours and collect it 
and even had to let data go for hours and um, collect it. So, uh, you know, if you say, oh, that's just boring, you know, the, the thing is, is you got to kind of just forget about the result uh, as you do the experiment. <clears throat> it's kind of, you kind of do the, you kind of just kind of do um, realize that it's a journey, as, as we say, not the end result, well, at least not right now. So you want to make sure that everything's set up and that, you, that nothing's screwed up, everything's attached, and always keep an eye out for any kind of anomalies that you might think are, are happening. Okay, so it's at 28 degrees, and I'll take it when it gets to 30. And I may take it again at like 37 and 45. I may take it every seven and a half degrees. Um, and I have it at seven. And I just want to make sure I don't heat it too fast. I just, if I heat it too fast, maybe the pressure won't be able to catch up. But if you notice, is, is the pressure increasing? Um, hopefully. Okay. I'm, uh, it seems to be changing a little bit. Hopefully it's going to be changing more. Maybe I might be having to do this, this again. So I'm going to click that point. Okay. So it is going up. I'm going to reset the graph uh, to auto scale. Okay, so you can see that, that it's going up literally at this point. And this is only at two points. And, uh, any, you know, anytime you have two points, you guys make a straight line. But, um,. Okay, so when it gets to uh, 37, part of the thing is, is that when I've done this, these before, it's just that these got to be, you got to make sure that there's no air escaping from uh, the, the apparatus because um, then you lose pressure. And I wish it actually the pressure would go up more, um, but we'll just we'll continue doing it. So I'm gonna take another point now. We'll let it go up to 45.
All right. So we got 45. Okay, now I'm going to let it go up to uh, 53 or so. And measure it. Got a little bit of a bigger change in that one. We'll study the graph after I collect all the points. Okay, so I'll. Uh, okay, so you just, you, you know, the kind of things you got to do is just make sure that uh, nothing goes, seems that going astray. I mean, the pressure's going up like we expect with temperature. Um, really don't know what, what to expect. That's another thing about experiments is, is that you can't come in with too much of a. Um, closed mind in terms of what to expect if you come in with expectations you're like you may if you come up and ask me and it goes this is this what i'm supposed to get i basically would tell you i don't know because you just have to do the experiment and whatever results you get and then we'll take a look at the results afterwards so um so i'm just i mean so far this experiment looks like it's going as as it should in terms of increasing pressure Temperature, pressure is going up. Um, okay, so I'm going to get it again at 52. Uh, let's go at 52 and a half. So I'll do it right now. Okay. Right. I think these points down here are going to be a little screwy in terms of uh, our, our data, um, when we analyze our data. Um, and I think that might have been because the, uh, uh, it wasn't closed, uh, wasn't sealed quite as well as it should. I think in the, in the, in the experiment it says, actually it says wet the, um, the, wet the, the, uh, stopper and that'll give her a better seal so i forgot to do that so um that may be a question on a test of what did i forget to do that the lab says so um so i'm gonna let this go up to 60 59. All right, it doesn't have to be exactly 60. It's just you want it somewhere around because uh, I mean it's going to be a linear fit for whatever you do. Uh, I mean not linear. It could be linear, but it, I mean you can get a linear relationship. Um, from any set of points you pick. So uh, I'm just right now picking somewhere between seven. I'm, I'm thinking seven and a half points, but it doesn't have to be exactly. It could be every ten. I was thinking uh, five or ten. I thought, well, I'll pick in between the two. So the next one will be 67 and a half I'll pick, or thereabouts, right around 67, 68 for the temperature. That's one of the things students think is when it's, you know, the lab says get it at 60 degrees. Uh, they think they have to get exactly 60. When you're doing these kind of experiments, you know it's, things are going to change in a fashion you can measure linearly, hopefully, or some sort of fashion. And, um, and taking any point, as long as there's a relationship between temperature and pressure, and you have more than two points, um, it really doesn't matter uh, the points you pick, as long as you can get some sort of progression from your points. So I'm going to pick this one when it's uh, a couple more degrees. And you can see now it's you've got more of a straight line. Make sure I'm not burning anything here.
right there. Keep that point, so I've labeled it over here. Okay, uh, so I'm going to let it go up to 75 for this time. And now it looks, the line looks pretty linear here, okay, so. Uh, that's nice. It's just our first few points were just kind of off. And I think that had to do with the seal. So when we, when we finally look at our data, we'll, we'll talk about that and see what we want to do with it. So uh, 70 degrees C uh, in terms of Fahrenheit, um, quick way to get Fahrenheit from S Celsius is to, uh, well, the, the, uh, the formula is 32 plus uh, 9 fifths Celsius to give it Fahrenheit. A quick way that I do it is just multiply the uh, Celsius by 2 and add 30. So 70 uh, Celsius is 70 times 2, 140 plus 30. So it's about 170 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Okay, uh, so it's pretty hot. So if I put my finger into the water, it would be definitely, uh, it could burn myself. So I have to be careful. So don't let the 70 uh, think that it's actually cool, all right? It's, it's not. All right, so when it gets to 75, we'll take it again. And then when I, uh, I maybe I'll do it, uh, then I'll do 82, 90. Uh, that'll be our last last values. Okay. All right. So I'll let it go up to 82. When I get done with the experiment here, I'll turn it off, and then I'm going to um. Uh, just to set the experiment aside, I'm gonna, not going to take it completely apart. Um, I'm just going to uh, make it so that it's still, the heat's not going up. And, uh, but, and then we'll discuss the, uh, the results. Um, after I discuss the results, I'll take it apart and clean up. You know. And uh, any time you do a lab, uh, it's just like when you eat, you know, you should clean up. All right, so. So we're at 79, so we'll let it go to about 82 and a half. Yeah, we got a nice snowfall this week. What I got about, uh, there's about, my house, it would, uh, about eight inches or so. So what's that? That's about twenty centimeters. Okay. So remember, two point five hundred eight inches, and every centimeter, every inch is two and a half. So, so twenty centimeters sounds pretty impressive. Okay. All right. Uh,